when I'm gonna do a, a normal locate audit, uh, I'm gonna arrive on site, uh, check to make sure everything looks right. I'm gonna pull up the Julie ticket, uh, check the extent on the ticket. I'll also pull up the underground locating maps. Uh, I have one for this area. Uh, the map shows what's marked or what's going to be running in the ground in this area. And I want to make sure that the locates are according, uh, accordingly marked to the maps that are uh, provided in this area. So um, I'm not going to physically uh, hook up to the cable itself, but I am going to make sure that everything looks right and say there's uh, two or three primaries on the map. Um, and I only see one set of marks here. I'm going to get the locate supervisor on the phone. I'm going to tell him uh, he or she should come out here, uh, get a lead technician out on site to maybe do an independent verification on the marks themselves. Uh, that way we can try to prevent uh, future damages in this area. Uh, another thing I'm going to do is going to, I'm going to check the extent, make sure the whole extent of the ticket has been marked. Uh, 10 to 15 feet beyond the extent of the ticket also. And I'm also going to look to make sure that our marking standards are, are within uh, ComEd standards. You know, this is a three-phase primary here, so it should be no more than uh, four to six inches wide as far as for a three-phase three primary. We shouldn't see duct package marks for a three-phase primary. Uh, just makes the contractor's job a whole lot more harder. And we, we got to make sure that they're marking according to our standards. I want to get to it usually when the dig start is, is already passed. So say uh, this dig ticket was due today at 8 a.m., I may show up here at 9 a.m. today to see if this ticket's been marked. If it's not been marked, obviously I'm gonna get on the horn with the supervisor, uh, tell them that we have a no-show ticket out here and they need to get out here and, and get it marked. Um, sometimes I'll get to a dig ticket beforehand if, if say there's a locate issue and they're, and they're asking me for help as far as uh, a toning problem or you know they can't pick up the, the cable that they're hooked up on, I may come out to a system on the locate. I pick my audits as far as when it comes to high hit areas, our heavy hitter contractors, uh, what areas they're working in, and I have uh, certain crews, certain locator crews that I, I pay attention to because maybe there's a little bit more trouble in those crews than other crews. Um, and then I'm looking at uh, you know, where are my big damage areas at? My cities, my towns that are, are experiencing more and more damages uh, than other cities. So I'm gonna prioritize my audits towards uh, the heavy hit areas.